Good afternoon, you guys. It's been an annoying morning so far. They came and switched out our router today, gave us new internet, and now it, the internet absolutely sucks now. So I've been doing that this morning. Um, it's almost, I think, 1 o'clock or maybe a little bit earlier than that. But I can't get yesterday's video uploaded yet because, or today's video uploaded yet because the internet's all messed up. So yeah, that's how my morning's been going. And now my friend is in the neighborhood and they're trading wheels with somebody. And I guess he snapped the head off one of his, his lug nuts and they've been like hacking at it. So now I have to try and fix that and help them out. So yeah, it's been one of those mornings. But after we fix the internet and get this whole lug thing situated, um, I will be fixing layers hood today hopefully and then getting the power steering pump relocated in my car. So let's go deal with this stuff first. And oh, I have, a, if you guys know Xbox stuff, my connection used to be, I used to have a four bar, like perfect connection. Now I'm down to a like a one and, one and two bar. That's not good for Call of Duty, it's irritating. If you play Call of Duty or any games at all, a one bar is death, it's absolute death. So I've been very frustrated today and the internet's slow. No, okay, so the video I'm uploading, to, I don't know if it's up or not yet, we'll see. But actually by the time you see this video, that video should be up hopefully. But it's only a 10 minute long video and it took three hours to upload. Like, oh, oh no. Okay, let's go. The only upsides to this is the fact that one, he's in the neighborhood, which is close. We had to drive a mile over there. And uh, two, I've done this once before because I actually stripped the log, I snapped the log off on this car way, way back. And I was able to get it out with a flathead. So we'll see. All I know, I saw a picture of it and they've cut it up a bunch. So I, I feel like this might be a little bit difficult. So uh, I don't know. Still got it. All right. So my friend Tony is trading wheels with this guy, um, those are his old wheels. This is the wheel and tire he's trying to buy and this, this is what I'm working with right now boys. Look at this. Oh no, honey, no. So at this point the lug itself, or the, the, cat, or the, the lug is like basically cut and fused with the stud itself. So I'm not sure we're going to do this. All right, I have to leave, but this is as far as we've gotten to, and yeah, it's, 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 it's gone at this point. So he's just not planning to use the fourth lug nut at all. I thought the top had snapped off and the stud was stuck, but actually the lug was stuck, and it's basically like welded to the stud now, especially where they cut it and stuff, so it's just kind of, yeah. There's going to be a lot of drilling and cutting and hammering to go on, but I have to leave. So you handle, you handle that. You have fun. You have so much fun. Back at the house, what's funny is I just got back home, like literally like three or four minutes since I left their house, and Tony just texted me, he got it off. They were pretty close, but man, that, that thing was beat bad. I had thought initially that the head of the, the lug was just snapped off, but the lug was actually like super torqued down onto the stud itself, and where they had took the grinder and tried to cut it off, it just basically welded the metal to the wheel itself. So yeah, they did a whole bunch of drilling and cutting and hammering and things, but it's off from the picture. It looks like they might be able to still use that, um, that fifth hole, but I don't know, but it's off, so that's done. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and now see if I can't fix Larry's hood, um, use some of the stuff that you guys showed me. Um, they were saying that, the, what people were saying, the hood latch itself isn't going all the way back into the closed position, and it's getting stuck halfway, so you have like, when you go to, before you close the hood, push it back and then try and close it. So we're gonna try that first. I don't know what it is, but I've been moving so extremely slow today. I'm just like, just really tired. I don't know, bouncing that much yesterday, I'm like kind of sore. I'm just been kind of like relaxing and chilling today, but it's time to tackle this thing. And I think I have a good idea how you get to work. All right, so what I'm working with today is the hood latch itself. I think that's the problem. A few people showed me some examples of their hood latch getting stuck and it's not going far enough. I think it needs to go further this way. I think it is, so it's actually hooking here. I don't think, um, the hood going down far enough was the problem. I think it's just actually latching itself because it goes down all the way where there's never any hook So I think I have to adjust uh, this a little bit. So I'm gonna try I think it's supposed to go this way like forward um, So I'm gonna try that real quick and then see if that works It's been about 30 or so minutes now and I've tried everything possible and this did, this hood still won't close I looked at the Jetta truck hood. They all look exactly the same. I try to adjust everything. Everything seems to be in the right spot I've tried every solution um everybody's giving me and nothing works I literally don't know what the problem is the hood goes all the way down but it just won't like latch or fully catch and I've tried pulling the hood latch from the inside adjusting it back and forth I've, nothing works but like I said I, I was done working on this car like when I painted it before and I'm just like I'm just over this thing I hate this vehicle with a burning passion so it is what it is no hood for you let's take the hood off Larry you're watching no hood because I'm just done with this this thing is stupid it's a stupid vehicle and no one likes it, so I'm done with it. So, we're moving on to my power steering pump, maybe. Look, the Jetta truck, look at that. 
closed, no problem. Look at this thing. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool of you. So cool. You're a worthless piece of junk and I hate you. This is my uh, normal 2.0 uh, power steering pump. Not pump, the power steering reservoir. I'm gonna go ahead and move it. I, I have this one here. This is the Passat B3 pump. Just a little different, a little bit more better looking. It's small. I'm probably gonna paint it black as well. Uh, the plan is to hopefully have it over here like down there somewhere in the corner, like further down that hole, so it's kind of out of the way. Um, I was going to go buy more hoses, like there's a hose there on the back side and the hose on the front side here. Um, but these hoses actually have a little bit of stretch on the, back, on the back side and the front side, so I might be able to honestly get that one in and just stretch these um, original hoses over to there. Because this one, there's like this S shape and there's a lot of hose back there, and this one's pretty long too, so I might be able to just stretch that to over there. So we're going to try that right now. I haven't opened this in such a long time. Oh yeah, we're kind of below the min. So it's definitely time to do this. So let's get them filling that back up. I don't have any um, brake dot four fluid here with me. So once I swap this, I'll go to the sp store later and fill that back up. But let's go ahead and get these pulled off. So I think it's uh, like an eight mil on that one, and probably eight mil on this one too. I'm only gonna undo the top one, so that one and that one, and then hopefully these hoses stretch to over there. I got this one loosened and that one loosened. It's a seven millimeter, not an eight, like I said. Uh, I'm gonna try and do my best and not get power steering fluid everywhere possible. Um, hopefully I can probably, this is an old one I have that's empty, try and pour something back in there and save a little bit of it. And then I'll have to buy a new one, of course, but it's gonna go everywhere, I'm pretty sure. So let's try and get this out of here. And I also forgot, there is a um, Allen key bolt that's right here in the back that holds this to the, I think the tray right here. So make sure you take that out first. I almost pulled off these hoses and I got stuck just dumping everywhere. So I'm going to pull that out so this thing's loose and then we can take the hoses off. Now that this is free, now we can do some business. And now you can see that the hose kind of curves back and goes around and goes back over to there. And then this one's down there. I should have enough slack in both of these lines to get to that side, I think. If I go under the frame here, I think I might have enough chance. If I don't, I might put it like maybe down here somewhere. I don't know, I'll find a cool place to hide it. Almost completely forgot that I needed to paint this other one first. So we have it out here in the fancy paint booth and I have the trusty churn bummer paint. This stuff is, like I said, you guys know, this stuff is amazing for everything. So we're gonna go ahead and get this sprayed black real quick and then we can go put it in the car. I think I'm gonna tuck it down by the radiator instead of over in the fender well area. I think it's a little bit closer for the hoses to reach and it's kind of like, I don't know, I think more out of the way. So I'm gonna go there, I think we go there. All right, we are all painted up, looking nice and OEM and just Black just looks clean, so I let this sit for about 34-5 minutes, let it dry completely, then we'll go ahead and throw it in the car. Alright, it's been about an hour. Our new power steering reservoir, the V3 one, is looking nice and fancy. Uh, all the letters look nice, all the dirt's gone. So, we're gonna get this installed. I think instead of putting it over there, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put it like down back there, like by the bumper towards the front. Um, reason being that once this battery's out of the way, I kind of want like how this side's pretty much just smooth all the way through. Um, I want this side to be the same way, and I don't really want to see a cap right there, so I kind of think I'm gonna put it back under there. So I'm gonna pull one end of this off and put it right onto there, and then pull the next one off and put it on the other side, and hopefully minimize spilling brake fluid everywhere. And then I'm gonna see if I can just push it down and get it back there. Pause the car stuff. We got a bird standoff. I can hop better than you can hop. Mm -hmm, a little, little left action, a little hop right action. Uh, uh. They've been going at it for like five minutes now. Okay, let's get back to the car stuff. So I got the uh, the reservoir out. I had a plan of just pulling off one hose, turning it upside down, and then pulling off the next hose. So it was too much didn't run out. But if you can see, it's way over there now. The cap itself apparently doesn't seal. So I turned it upside down. It just went everywhere. So there's all over here on the battery. It's literally everywhere over there. And it's all over there, and it's there. And I tried to get some back in the bottle, but not too much went back in. And so it's over here now. So if you're wondering, so if you look at the top of this thing here, it just it doesn't seal apparently. So if you're wondering how I feel about this thing, that's how I feel about that thing. Exactly how I feel about it. Actually, I'm not totally satisfied with that. I think I need to smash it. So it's definitely get smashed now. That's better. 
Okay, now I feel better. That was good. With that irritating piece of garbage out of the way, we can go ahead and install our new one now. So if you look from here, you can see that the pump is gone. Uh, you might be able to see at the top of it's right there actually. So I just put it right here for now. I wanted to go further down, but that hose on there was kind of kinking, so I would need a different hose. And this one's not long enough. They're not long enough to go over to there, which I also kind of want to do. But for now, right there looks kind of cool. I mean, it obviously cleared up there a bunch. So it's looking a lot cleaner. So I mean, easy little thing. I didn't have to get any new hoses. I just put it right here for now. I'm probably going to get new hoses though and run it like way down back there or over to there, like way in the front. But for now, it looks much, much better. And I get, got all this cleaned up. And you know, that one over there got destroyed and smashed because it sucks. So we are here for now. It fits like perfectly right there. And as I said, it's not really like tucked away or hidden, but it's way smaller and it cleared up this whole section there. So it looks a lot better. And it's just like, it's right there kind of just out of the way. I think maybe like a nice little polish cap would look cool as well. But that is there, it's in. And even from this side, it looks a lot cleaner. Like how this side is like nice and open now. I feel like I might want to try to do something with these lines. I might try and get some more of this stuff. Um, that's how I wrapped my lines up before, but bigger and wrap those lines if I can and kind of hide, well at least make them black and match the rest of the car. And then over there, it's just nice not seeing that little cap sticking up. It's up in the front now, but it's pretty much, it's very sneaky now. It's not like tucked or anything, but it looks a lot better. So I think that came out pretty good. Realistically, you can swap basically any type of reservoir you want in your engine bay. You can go on eBay, find Paul's ones, whatever you want to do. I just happened to come across, I went at the junkyard and I thought it was pretty cool and I know Greg had did the same thing a while back and it just goes right in. The B3 one's not anything super fancy but it looks a lot cooler than the Mark III one. The Mark III one's like giant and bulky and like right next to the battery. So this one's a lot cooler to put up there and actually where I put um, that one is exactly where the B3 Passat one has it factory so it's kind of in like an OEM spot which is kind of cool and it's easy to get to. I still might move it but I don't know as of right now. Uh, the TDI hood still sucks and if you have any more suggestions on how to fix that thing, Please let me know. I've tried moving the hood latch cable. We've adjusted the whole latch up and down. We've tried. We've tried a lot of things. So if you have any other suggestions, maybe please try and help us. I think tomorrow I'm getting a lot of good feedback so far. I posted the. I got the other video up of showing you guys the hood. Um, a lot of good feedback. A lot of people think it will look cool on this car. Some people think it will look good on the Jetta truck. Either or, I think tomorrow I'm going to have Greg come over and we're going to test fit the hood on my car and on the Jetta truck and just see what we kind of initially think of it. Um, obviously, it's not going to match because it's Windsor blue and that one's gray and this one's obviously a different color blue. But just going to give it an idea. I don't know. I still think it might look cool because of this vented fender here to match the car. And it's just kind of like a 90s. Like I said, if any car could pull off... Um, a vented hood like this, I feel, I feel like Miley could do it because she pulled off the, the old the dual halo headlights and people hate those on every other car but she pulled them off somehow so I feel like if it was a car that could pull it off it would be this one but I think tomorrow we're definitely going to do some hood test fitting so that'll be for tomorrow. That is going to wrap up today's video guys. I'm sorry that they're kind of short lately. Um, we haven't really been doing any like massive jobs like we did before. Um, I've been just doing little stuff trying to just save up money so I can get the car really sprayed together, um, have the seats done and some other big stuff before these shows come up. We have Simple Clean, Fix Fest. There's a lot of shows coming up and I want to be prepared as best I can and then bring you guys some cool content. So that's what we're doing right now. Just some small stuff, little, just little things to get you by. Um, still very cool things, but nothing like crazy what we were doing before. But we will get back to that very soon. Just trust me. Um, if you're new, uh, this isn't a this isn't a subscribe. But if this was a subscribe, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Leave some support for the TDI because I hate it with a passion. I just want the hood to close. It's so irritating seeing it not close. <sighs> Peace out.